Oh my god, they're evolving. That's insane. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back for another episode of Solo Leveling. Today we have episode 12, which is the season one finale. I understand I'm a bit late to this and I wanted to apologize. I had a few other things going on. I started uploading some solo leveling arise and I kind of just lost track of time and haven't uploaded it yet. So without further ado, if you guys do enjoy at any point, make sure to like and subscribe. I am going to finish. I am going to finish the drawing of Jin Wu over there and show it to you in a later video. So without further ado, let's get into episode 12 of solo leveling. That's right, he did lose the teleportation stone in the last episode. But he can't use any of his abilities. Oh, wow, that's real bad right there. No MP, no health. It doesn't look like the no MP and no health is really affecting him that much, though. He's still going at it right now. Hey, yo, his hand almost looks like mine. That's crazy. Wait, what are these voices? Is this like an effect from like one of the mages of the dungeon? Or is this just like all in his head in general? Oh, that's creepy. Oh, he is creepy now. That's real creepy. Oh, that's so weird. Like, it's it's him in his own head, but he doesn't recognize himself. That's so weird. Wait, is he dead now? Because he had, like, no health. Oh no, that's not good. Is he dead? Because his health is like nothing, so I don't know how he's surviving these. Unless the health meter really just doesn't matter. That is so creepy! Oh, the parallel. Does this mean he's gonna die? Because he died back then. Well, kind of died. He said like 0 0.02 seconds. Oh, the penalty! The penalty is going to pull him out just in the nick of time, just like the system did. I wonder if that guy is not in his head, but it's kind of like a phantom of like the system in a way. <laughs> the penalty thing saved his life this time, but it almost ended it the last time. Oh, that's right. The store was locked when he went into the dungeon. And now that he's technically out of the dungeon, he can use the items in the store. Oh, you can't use potions if you're too low? Well, leveling up should be pretty easy as long as those guys are low. Okay, they are lower level, so I think he should be able to take them on this time. Yo, this is sick! Oh, is he finally gonna go through one of them? Oh, he leveled up, so he must have beat at least one of them. Oh, he beat all of them! Okay, so he's got 10 minutes to kind of sort himself out before he goes back into the dungeon, get all of his gear readied. Wait, he's got 3 million gold? What is a 3 million gold weapon gonna do? Oh, 25% more damage to armored beasts. That's really good because he's always had to fight with his hands against armored characters before now. What is the skill? Because I don't think it told us what the skill was. It just said it was like a skill rune. Oh, that's insane. It's not really that good just because of for weapons for him because he can just put it back into his inventory and pull it back out. Alright, he's about to go back. Why is he bandaging his arm up? He leveled up so he doesn't have the wounds anymore. Did he use stealth before he went back in? 
Oh, nope. He's <laughs> wide. He's in the wide open right now. So this will be the fourth raid then. Okay. I thought this was the third. Oh, is there going to be a monster in the water? Well, it doesn't look that big, so it can't be that scary, I guess. Yo, this weapon is sick! Oh, that's crazy. That, that weapon can just slice through the armor. Okay, so he's got to take out the mages if he wants the summoning to stop. Wait, taking out the mage gets rid of the ones they summoned as well? That's broken. I feel like the stealth skill is kind of pointless if they're just going to keep doing that to him. He shouldn't be wasting his MP like that, I feel. But he is slicing through these guys. Oh, he's finally using like, the telekinesis power. What is it called? Ruler's hand? Oh, this is crazy! He's just throwing them around! Okay, so he's got three left. What are they doing? Okay, they summoned a huge golem. That's nice. And I'm guessing that's made out of the equivalent of all those pieces of armor that were on the ground. Yeah, having one target makes it easier to go after the mages now. Oh, maybe that's why the mages were so committed to that. Even though they died, it's still there. Okay, I feel like the 25% more damage to armored types is underselling it. I feel like it's doing way more than 25% more damage. So he basically did that in like... 30 minutes because he spent four hours in the penalty area. What do you, is this what he got? What do you get? Necromancer. This sucks. Basically, everybody who's a character I like in this show gets a whack ability, like gets a whack class because Mr. Song got a class that is not complimentary to him whatsoever, which was a mage. Ju He got a comp. A, class to her that is not complimentary which is a healer and Jin Wu just got necromancer and he has no MP he has nothing invested in MP oh so he can reject it well give him like something else then if he rejects it <laughs> it's a hidden class. Would you like to accept? Like, what is this? Is it just going to keep asking him to become a necromancer until he finally does? So he's saying, I'm, I'm guessing he's saying that there's no other necromancer, so he has no example to go by. Okay, so his best example is those mages is all he's really got. So I guess there's no necromancer hunter out there. Oh, he's wondering if the system had it prearranged to just give him Necromancer. Okay, I, I, I can see that happening. Wait, does that mean the characters that he summons is, are going to be able to level up as well? Oh, that'd be so sick. Seems like they're technically a part of him in a way because they're using his like mana to be created. Okay, so he accepted it. Let's see what happens. Oh, it just keeps advancing him. So does that mean he's going to go past Necromancer? Oh, his eyes are purple now. They were always blue before. Does that, like, mean anything? He went from Necromancer to Shadow Monarch. I don't know what a Shadow Monarch is, but it sounds pretty cool. Oh, he can hear the dead now since he's a Necromancer? 
So you have to designate words okay. to create abilities or like set abilities, kind of like a button on a keyboard. Oh, these look so much cooler than the knights that the other guys, that the mages summoned. Okay, he can't pick a word that's like too close. Because imagine if like in conversation, he just says like level up or something. Or something like, you know, what I mean, some, something that would actually be in your turn of phrase and something just happens like the dead rise. That'd be kind of scary. Oh, so they have levels as well. So they are going to, I think they are going to be able to level up then. No way. Is he going to try to summon Igris? Or make like a uh, shadow contract with Igris? Kind of. So it's possible. Okay, so he needs to make 11 slots for Igris. That's insane. Oh, if he gets Igris, this isn't even going to be fair. It looks like it's working. Oh, it failed. It's red text. Does that mean this is like impossible or like super difficult the same way like white, orange, and red meant for like texts on the characters? Oh, down to one. Oh, this is sick. Dude, if he gets Igris, that's going to be so... Oh my God, he's going to be able to level up Igris. That's not even fair. Oh boy. No no way. He looks so much cooler. What's happening? Oh, this 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 version of Igris. I like the red version, but this one this one's way sicker. Only level seven? Dude, what? If that was level 7 Igris, everybody's in for a rude awakening once he summons Igris to fight. The Shadow Army. That's crazy. That's the end of season one. Oh, wait, we have something here at the end. Oh. What's scaring two S ranks right now? It's one of the red ants, so what is it? Oh my god, they're evolving. That's insane. Dude, imagine if. When, because obviously we're gonna have to have uh, Jin Wu go to Jeju Island at some point. Imagine if it's like Jin Wu and his Shadow Army versus like a Queen Ant and her army that are all leveling up on both sides, and that's gonna be like the main fight. Because that'd be so sick to watch. I would say as a whole, this episode was really good, but I feel like last episode was just so much more intense. But the cliffhanger that they left us on. For this season was so good like it want it makes you want to watch more even obviously there's not but i'm so i'm so excited for season two when that comes oh boy so yeah if you guys did enjoy please make sure to like and subscribe uh comment down below any other series you might want me to react to i'm thinking about doing an uh my hero academia news when the new season comes out to react to that and maybe some other uh, shows since I'm going to be done with uh, solo leveling for the time being. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.